This is Dr. Lou Sella, Doctor of Sport Performance Psychology. And in this video, we're going to discuss basically how inside veer works better against a 4-3 defense to the B-cap defender side than midline triple option. Now, if you watch the 2,800 plus videos I have on this YouTube channel, the videos over the last couple of years sound like I'm more in favor of running midline triple option because that's what Air Force runs. Air Force last year ran inside veer maybe 10 times the entire season. And before Army went rogue in 2023, they were running little to no inside veer at all either. Air Force the last four years has probably run inside veer it's less than once a game. So it's not a big play anymore. And I explain that, I explain the reason why in other videos. However, today I'm going to show you why inside veer is more effective against a 4-3 to the B-gap defender side. And I'll give a quick spoiler on it. The reason why is because of double run support. Double run support basically is the reason why inside veer is a better play. Now, midline triple option. This is how it works. Midline triple option is designed so that you don't have to block the B and C gap defenders. Because as soon as the guard veers inside and this player on him stays outside, that's a B gap defender. It's the quarterback's job to cancel him and the guy next to him with the football. So when the guard veers inside to the mic, you've got those two guys that are there, they're unblocked, but they can't make the tackle because the quarterback cancels them with the football. The center of the backside guard double team whoever's in the backside A gap. So if there's a two technique like there is there, that's not the backside A gap because the guard's going to work together with the center and keep him backside and deliver him to the tackle. But really, the tackle is blocked on the spine of the guard, which cancels the backside B gap. So yeah, on the backside, you never want to make scoop blocking an external conflict. Everything's internal. Regardless of the defense, they're all nameless, face, faceless alignments. But the center of the backside guard of the A gap, the tackle's got the B gap, but the tackle blocks the B gap by... Stealing second base and blocking the spine of the backside guard. Now, here's what happens with everybody else. Now, the backside receiver sprints to the goalpost. Here's, the pro here's what happens. These two belong to the quarterback, but then you've got a corner over here, and I have the block drawn too well. So, you got the corner over there. Then you got a safety, and then you got an overhang. So you got double run support because he's a run support player. He's a run support player. He's the deep defender. So now the A back has to make a tackle, tackle, tackle call to tell him, look, I'm going to block the widest run support. You got the next guy. So the tackle's going to pull, and he's going to block the closest run support and work to get his left knee through his, the crotch of that run support player, left hand to the stomach, four inch northbound steps. The A-back takes three flat steps, steps at 45 degrees, kicks out the corner. The receiver engages with the corner briefly, and then he goes and gets his left knee through the crotch of the safety. But now you got to pull the tackle. And see, then the other problem that exists is if, they, if he and the mic scrape exchange, he takes the dive and he comes over the top, and the guard doesn't get there, you're three on three. Now you got a situation where your triple option, which has three people, they're going to have three to defend three. And that's a real problem. So if he takes the dive, and whether he scrapes the pitch or he takes the dive, he takes the quarterback, and he's the scraper, that's the problem with running mid-triple against a 4-3 to the B-gap defender side. Now that doesn't happen a lot of the time if they align like this. A lot of the time they'll just stay status quo. But regardless, and I, this is why I say this in other videos, you only want to run midline triple option if this guy right here is taking the dive. Because if he's taking the dive on zone dive, it solves a lot of problems. But the thing is, you still got to block him, him, and him on the perimeter. 
the point of the video is a lot of things have to work out for you with mid triple. Now, let's get to inside veer. So inside veer, this is what happens. Now you put, you take this guy out of the count, you make him the action key. Now the guard and center are going to ace that player. Guard's going to zone step and put his left knee in the crotch of the two technique, left hand to the stomach, four inch northbound steps. Center's going to successfully snap the ball, run to the guard, and then put his right knee in the crotch of the two technique, right hand to the stomach, four inch northbound steps from there. You're going to make a two and two eye with an ace block. Backside guard is going to block the spine at the center. Backside tackle is going to block the spine of the backside guard, which cancels the backside A and B gaps, respectively. The tackle now on an ace call, he'll veer inside if the mic can run through the B gap. Otherwise, he's going to veer outside to block the mic. Because that way, if the mic's a runner, he can pick him off. Because if he veers inside... A lot of times the mic can get over the top of him and you're three on three again. But that's the beauty of it. And that's why Paul Johnson started doing that in the 80s was so you could pick him off if he's a runner. So there's another advantage. On the perimeter now, the receiver's going to do the same thing and the A-back's going to do the same thing, but you don't need to pull the tackle because you have regular run support. There's one, there's two, there's the run support, there's the deep defender. Backside receiver cuts off. The quarterback takes the snap, he jumps play side, points the ball. The B is going to sprint through the ball, sprint through the play side hip of the guard, sprint through the end zone. And if one takes the B, the quarterback replaces him and scores. And then if two can tackle him, he stops his feet, flicks the ball to the A coming around. So what makes it easy is now by moving it out a hole, Okay, yeah, you got a double team, the two technique instead of read them, but you solve all the problems with double run support. And remember, once again, you want to run triple option, whether it's inside veer or mid triple. If this guy's coming downhill to take the B back on zone dive, because then you know you're going to pull pitch. Because the whole point of running triple option, coaches, is to get the ball pitched, because otherwise you don't have a triple option. Air Force taught me that well, and they actually did teach me that with words. Uh, I had a great multiple number of conversations with an Air Force coach who, play, who played quarterback there during, and I had these conversations with him during the pandemic, and it really was a tremendous conversation on understanding the offense and basically the, the thought processes that I knew, but it's nice to, to have them confirmed with words. So this is why inside veer versus a 4-3 to the B-gap side is better than mid-triple. Solves a lot of problems. Now, I get the question, too. Well, if he's veering outside and he takes the dive, you know, he's gonna, so he's going to veer outside and then have to come back inside. Yeah, that's true. But you got to understand in a 4-3 defense, for him to make the play on the B-back, he has to go that way. And by then, the tackle usually picks him off. But once again, about... Running triple option, and this is so important. You've got to call it when this guy is absolutely taking the dive on zone dive. Because if he's doing that, that's when you want to call it. Now, yeah, is there a chance they mix it up and he, one play he takes a dive and the next play he takes the quarterback? Yeah, there is. So the thing is, is you just play the what, what happened the play before and you'll be fine. So... Inside veer works better against a 4-3 to the B gap side than mid triple for all the reasons I just showed you. So that's that. Coaches, if you want to win big in 2024, pick up the phone and give me a call right now. My number's on the thumbnail of this video and so is my website. The Triple Option Football Academy and Triple Option Football Academy camps are going to show you how. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. The academy is $9.97. You get the academy for two years. Now, is $9.97 worth adding several more wins to your win total in 2024? I would think so. And if you don't think it can happen for you, go to the testimonial page at tripleoptionfootball.com and see for yourself. Camps start at 1997. The academy is included with the camp. Call me for more info. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com for even more info. And I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.